Hey guys, for today's video we're doing a, another Halloween tutorial and for today I'm going to be doing a sugar skull but I don't know what kind of skull yet. I think I'm going to do something with glitter and rhinestones. I actually don't know if I have rhinestones. I should probably check. But if I do, I'll do rhinestones. If I don't, I think I'm just going to do glitter. I was actually going to do something totally different and I just wasn't feeling it. I was really feeling the skull today. So I'm going to show you guys how to do a skull. I seriously want to do a skull every year for Halloween. But I don't have any friends and I don't get invited anywhere for Halloween. So I just do them for YouTube. But that's okay. I don't care. I think I'm feeling purple today. So I think we'll do some purple, we'll do some glitter, I don't know, we'll do something fun. So if you guys want to see how to get this purple glitter sugar skull, I think that's what I'm going to do. Then just go ahead and keep watching, we're going to jump in right now. Okay, so I'm starting by taking the Bling Boss palette from Morphe and Jaclyn Hill. This is from the Vault Collection. And I'm pretty much just doing a purple smoky eye. So I started off with Rockstar. And I'm taking it really high up in the crease because we are going to do the black around the eyes. So moving on, I'm going to go in with Berry Treasure. It's this really pretty sparkly dark. It's almost black, but it's purple. And I'm just going right underneath the transition. Just blending like... I normally would going in and doing like a basic eye but a little more dramatic next I took gem which is this really vibrant intense purple and I just swiped this all over the lid I am gonna go in with an inglot pigment but the pigment that I used is just um, I don't want to say it's see-through cuz it's not I'm about to do it right now I think yeah I'm putting on the pigment now it's not like necessarily see-through it's just I wanted to see um, that vibrant purple underneath so that's why I wanted to lay it down first and then we're gonna start by shaping out the eyes and I did take a black liner from Mayron I think um, I'll make sure to list everything below of course but I would suggest starting with a black shadow I don't know why I was feeling so like brave <laughs> um, but if you mess up it's so much easier to fix it with shadow rather than gel liner but I am just doing the circle like the hollowed circle around the eye and then I'm just gonna go ahead and fill it in I'm only filling in the bottom half because of the smoky eye on top it looks kind of weird at first but it'll come together Okay, and then I'm taking this purple from NYX. I think it's actually just called purple. It's a glitter. And I took this uh, Sigma brush. It's like a really big, fat packing brush. And you want to make sure not to set the gel liner with anything because it's going to act as a base for the glitter. So I just went over that. And then around this part where I did the outline above my brows and on the sides where that Sigma brush couldn't reach, I'm just going in with a little bit of glitter glue and then laying the glitter on top like those hard to reach areas because that brush was too big for from Sigma so I'm just taking my time I'm just doing like the outline with the glitter glue because the gel liner um, held the glitter in place like on the bottom half but before I go in and do my face I'm cleaning everything up with a makeup wipe I'm just kind of detailing out around the circles it got a little messy with the glitter and then some of the gel liner smeared a little bit so I'm just cleaning it up and then of course I'm gonna wipe off all the fallout that I got all over my face because glitter is the devil I'm going to take this Becca primer and prime my face. Again, I'm not doing anything mattifying because we are going to go in with the Mayron Clown White. And because it's such a thick cream, I didn't want anything to grab to a mattifying primer. So the best way that I found to use this just over the years is with my hands. I just don't, I'm not a big fan of this to be honest. I, I think next year I'm going to have to look into the water activated paints because this is just kind of hard to work with. It's really thick, but it's what I had. So it's what I use, but I just don't really like the stuff with a brush. I don't like it with a sponge. I just find that the best way to keep it from streaking and the easiest way to apply it is with my hand. So I just went in with my hand and I just did my thing. But for my chest, I do take a sponge because it was such a bigger surface. Um, but it was just like you can kind of see it's a little streaky with the sponge. But I didn't want any of my skin to show through. So I do take it down onto my chest. And then for that part around my eye, I do take a little lip brush. I'm going to get frustrated in a second because it's like so streaky. I'm going to go in with my finger. But I do just kind of like, yeah, see right here I'm getting pissed off. And I'm like, holy shit, let me just use my damn finger. But around my eyes, I did take a little brush just to get in there. And then I'm just kind of blending out the streaks um, with my finger to kind of make sure everything looks good. And then I'm going to go in with the Mayron. This is the Ultra White Setting Powder. And I'm taking the sponge. And I really took my time pressing powder into the face because the 
cream is so thick I didn't want anything to move or budge or crease so I'm just like being really detailed with this even though it didn't really do that great of a job but I still did it anyways <laughs> And then moving on to the nose, I took that little liner brush that I've been using and I'm outlining the shape of the nose with a black shadow and then I'm going to go in and fill it in a little bit better with a liquid liner. But I kind of start shaping and filling and then shaping and filling. Um, if you just want to do the outline first and then go in and fill, you can do that. But I kind of just get in the zone and do my own thing. Um, I, I'll do that later on when it comes to the teeth too. But I'm pretty much just outlining with the shadow just in case anything gets messy. I can go in and fix it a lot easier than if I start like just straight off with a liquid or a gel liner but in a second I am gonna go in and I'm just gonna fine-tune everything it was a little too like diffused from the shadow I wanted it to be more of a sharp point so I took this NYX liquid liner I'm just extending the nose up a little higher I wanted it to be more of a sharp outline and then because it was a black shadow over a white paint it kind of turned a little bit gray so I'm going in and just filling everything in that didn't turn out as dark as I wanted it to be and then just making sure everything looks perfect and then I just decided to randomly do brows I wasn't going to do this but I did um like last minute and I'm doing the same thing I went in with black shadow and then I'm going to go in with gel liner but I just kind of made the furrowed brow face and that just helped me kind of figure out the shape that I wanted for my brows and then we're going to start hollowing out the face. So I'm taking Mystic from the uh, Bling Boss palette and that same little liner brush. I'm going to do like a sharp line at first and then I'll go in and start doing any type of hollowing. Um, I was looking at a picture. I actually just Googled skulls and it kind of helped me see like the shape that I wanted to do. I didn't include this part in the video, but I was looking back and forth between my the other side of my face a lot just to make sure everything was even. And then I took that same flat shader brush from Sigma that big one just to pack on the color a lot easier I'm kind of blending at the same time and I'm gonna in a second take it up onto my temples I'm gonna do around my hairline and I'm kind of laying down the color and then blending so here like I'm doing around the temples I'm kind of using that brush to help me blend as well and then I am gonna go in in a second with a, another shadow from Inglot it's like a really icy white shade and I'm gonna use my little E25 brush to blend out the purple it was just a little harsh I wanted to see a little bit of a sheen too and because it's so icy it just kind of added a little something extra plus I still wanted this to be like really pretty and girly at the same time so I take it down and blend out the line on my face I do my temple and around my forehead and then moving on to the lips I took that same uh, NYX liquid liner and I just do the little black um, part in the center just so it kind of looks like there's like a hollow right there and I just start off by drawing a little line I'm not gonna lie these teeth were so hard to do I had that picture up in front of me of skulls like I seriously googled skull teeth it was so hard to do I really had to take my time but I did it and it turned out just fine it's probably not like the best skull teeth ever but it was okay it all worked out um I'm sorry I think my mirror kind of covered it a little bit but I'm just doing the shape of teeth and then I go in and start filling in in like the empty space that's closest to the that initial line that I laid down between my lips I'm just filling that in with black liner and I felt that that made it look a little better like it looked a little more realistic when I went in and did the shading so here I'm going back and doing the top I don't know why I didn't do it to begin with but yeah I'm doing it right now and then I took a glitter it was actually just a craft glitter actually I want to say it was from my wedding like three and a half years ago I found it in the junk closet in the house and I was like dude I can totally use this so I'm taking a sponge and it's like an iridescent glitter it's like almost exactly like the NYX glitter ice I was going to use that glitter but I didn't want to waste my glitter on this part so I just used the craft glitter it's just a really pretty iridescent glitter it looked so pretty in the light and I'm just taking it all around wherever there's white um that's what I was saying about the the clown white it's just so thick and like it's so hard to work with that even though I said it, it 
the I didn't even have to use any type of adhesive to set the glitter because it's such a thick cream so yeah I just set it on top um if you use like paints or something you might have to go in with an adhesive but I also just took it on the teeth just to add a little something something and then I just popped on a pink wig I got this on Amazon I'll make sure to link it below if you guys are interested in it and that is it thank you guys so much for watching I hope you enjoyed this video I love you guys make sure you subscribe before you go and hit the notification bell and I will see you in my next one Thank you.